Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Geek and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial in Canva. And before we get started, make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime I upload new videos. So let's jump straight into Canva. Okay, so today's um, tutorial is a little bit different because we'll be doing some, uh, you know, some fresh um, things here. Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to um, customize your Google Form with Canva. Okay, because normally Google Form, let me just open my Google Form first before I keep talking um, a lot because, you know, I just don't want to drive you crazy and be like, oh, I want him talking about and all of that. You know, I just want to <laughs> be showing you whatever I um, want to do. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is um, you, you just need to have a, um, I was about to say a Canva account, a Google account to be able to use Google Form. And with Google Form, you can use it to collect, you know, um, data, details, information, you can use it for surveys, so many things, okay, you know, even invitation, you can use Google Form for almost anything that has to do with data and um, yeah, data collection, okay, so, um, let's say I wanted to um, create a form for a party, an invitation, um, you know, Google Form for a party, but I wanted it to look customized or you know, I, yes, I wanted to customize it with my brand colors or my party colors. Okay, so this is how we go about it. First of all, I'll just click a blank, um, you know, the plus over here to create a new form. And I'll just select maybe happy. Oh, okay, so happy birthday, Benjamin. Okay, then I'll just click here so that it just updates. Okay, so maybe I can just say name okay and um, let's see a number or phone number phone number and uh, let's see if we're sharing some t-shirt to so we'll see t-shirt size t-shirt size then in the t-shirt side okay so automatically has extra so I'll just add all so they can just choose whichever one okay so now we come to customize okay and in the customize you see the header it's it gets you access to choose an image and in this image i would want us to create it in canva okay so now let's go back okay so after we are done with all of this thing we can come to the customize theme and once we click on that you see we have this over here which says customize okay sorry choose image <laughs> okay so um this image that's what i'm going to create in canva okay so let's head back into canva and in canva i'll come to create a design and i'll choose um, i'll just select banner okay i'll search for banner in you know in here so we have blog banner and blah 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 so i'll just choose the blog banner not this okay fantastic so since it's party what i'm going to do is i'll go into my photos okay and in my photos i'll select balloon because you know balloons are normally for parties and stuff like that okay so we have some interesting balloons here okay nice so we'll select something um you know something that can fit whatever we want to do so which balloon should i go for okay okay so this is what i'm going to do i'll just search for any um, nice balloon i find it okay so this one is a pro one and um I'll, i just want to use a free okay so this is free okay so i bring it here and this is how it's looking okay with the balloons okay then um i'll just add my text okay now i'll say happy birthday Let me just type it to a happy. What am I doing? Happy birthday, Benjamin. Okay. So, 
I'll change the font size to Montserrat bold, okay? And you can see it will be very difficult to read the text, okay? So I'll add a shape and I would make it bigger. I can change the color to whatever color I want. So let's say this. Let's say this is what I wanted to go for. Now just come here and reduce the transparency a little bit. Okay, so the happy birthday Benjamin I think is looking a bit um, boring. So what I'll do is I'll just duplicate this and make it big and say Ben Benjamin. Okay, now make it bigger and bigger. Okay, fantastic. And I'll make it okay. So then I'll come into my element again and I'm going to you now go into the shapes. Okay, and in the shapes, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this. So I'll just I just want to keep everything in the border. Okay, so okay. And I would change the color. Okay, yeah. If it's white, it's more visible. Okay, so let's say this is what we wanted to create. You know, something simple like this. And I'll just download my image to so download. Yeah, so we can see it's downloading over here. And that's it. So now we come into our Google Form, choose image. browse and it should open this okay and this is a co this is some content i posted on instagram so i'm sure by the time you are watching this video it's already been posted it's called the workshop design in canva and i just did some speed work you know so you can check it out okay so i'll select the banner i just designed okay so it should just load quickly then okay so most of the time even if your image doesn't load you can just click on done okay because it would center everything that's why i made sure i was centering my image so it should load and it should also appear at the top okay fantastic so we can see so the colors have adjusted but i want a brighter color since the dominant color is blue yes i want this and you can see we have been able to customize our um, Google form. So let's say we share the link with someone. This is how it's going to look like. You can see it's blue, you know, it, it picks the accent color and everything is looking beautiful. So this is how to um, customize your Google form with Canva. And I believe you found this tutorial helpful. And if you did, kindly hit on the like button, hit on the subscribe button because I am all about Canva, okay, and I'm sure you wouldn't want to miss any of my upcoming Canva tutorials. So, the name is Benjamin, and you can also check me out on Instagram, okay, my name is African Geeks, okay, you can check me out on Instagram, and um, I'm sure you'd love what I have over there, okay, so yeah, like I was saying, the name still means Benjamin, and I will personally see you in my next video.